Alright guys, in this video I'm going to go over how I keep track of my sales and everything related to Amazon, um, cost of goods sold, etc. I'm losing my voice a little bit from all the live streams, so you'll have to excuse that. Hopefully it'll be better soon, but still going to do a live stream every day, usually around 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific time. So let's jump into this. The first thing I'll do on Excel is create a cost of goods sold page, so how much profit I make per unit. So for this example, I use uh, one of my popular products. The cost of the unit shipped, everything all in, is 610 per unit. So make a little column, put 610. That's our cost per unit right here. Then we have the referral fee, which is an Amazon fee, which is 15% of the sale price. So to calculate this, we do 15% in Excel, this calculation of the sale price. So if I change the price, let's say I do $19.99, you'll see that will change. But we are selling this one for $24.95, <clears throat> so it comes out at $374 as a cost. And then we have our fulfillment fee by Amazon. This is dependent on size and weight of the product. This is what Amazon charges us for them to hold and ship our products. That is $2.99 for this product because it's pretty small. It's about a pound and a half, uh, about this big. Now we have our label slash storage fees for our last fee. Now, it's 40 cents a unit for storage and 20 cents a unit for labeling if you use Amazon. Um, I already have the labeling fee put into my unit fee, which is 610, because my supplier did it for 10 cents a unit. So that's in there. So we only have the storage fee, which is 40 cents. So after that, we have total cost, which just adds these four columns up together. And you'll see our total cost after all fees is 1323 per unit. And we're selling it for $24.95. So our profit comes out to eleven seventy two a unit, which is pretty good for spending six ten. So now this is what I'll do when I first order to see if I am making profit off the listing uh, before I order anything. But now let's say, oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting a bunch of phone calls. Give me one sec. <clears throat> now let's say we start selling and we want to keep track of our sales daily. This is what I kind of do. I have a tab for my product. So pretend this is just this product. I'll, this is kind of how I set it up. So I have product, date, units, price, total sales, total cost, etc., all the way to total profit. So how I will set this up, each day I'll go in, I'll put the amount of units I have. So I sold 28 this day at $24.95. So this, sorry guys, I don't know why my phone is blowing up. <clears throat> so total sales is just units times total price. So total sales for the day was 700 from this one product. Now we have our cost per unit of $13.23 as shown right here. So we put that right here in the cost per unit. And then total cost is just cost per unit multiplied by how many units you sold that day. And you can see 370 cost. So our total profit is now total sales minus total cost, which comes out to 328.16 for the day profit. And then we would subtract anything that is PPC. So pay-per-click any advertising we did, we didn't do any. So we're left with $328.16 for the day in profit. Now if we did spend, let's say we spent $10, you'll see, or $20, it'll take away from the total by $20 right here. And now I just have this takeaway set up as total profit minus pay-per-click. So I'll just go in and enter this daily, and I'll keep track. And then on the very bottom, I just have the sum function, which is total the columns. So you'll see total profit was 11,813.76 from this one product for the month. And that's kind of just how I lay it out. It's pretty simple. Um, just copy this exact thing. It's very simple fun uh, functions in Excel. If you have any questions on it, just let me know. I uh, appreciate if you guys leave a like on this video. Uh, again, I will be live streaming every day in between one and usually 2.30 uh, Pacific time. So I'll see you guys there.